Hey Gav, it is two minutes to midnight on Monday the 7th of September. In two minutes will be my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dad. And I am at the entrance of Griffith Park. If you know anything about LA, you might know about Griffith Observatory, which is one of the big landmarks. It's, you know, the Hollywood sign, Griffith Observatory, maybe two or three others, but it's one of the big ones. I have about 20 minutes to this entrance to the park. From here, it's about an hour's walk to the actual observatory. This is the entry where there is a bear statue, as well as this cool statue of Eric the Viking to celebrate that, you know, he's probably the first European to land in America. In an earlier video, I mentioned that I walked to Griffith Observatory. It's a beautiful walk through the mountains. So when I got my last haircut, I mentioned to the hairdresser that I had walked to Griffith Observatory and he said, oh, you should look up the guy that place is named after. And boy, oh boy, am I glad that I did. Griffith J. Griffith was a Welshman who moved to America and became a journalist. And he specialized in reporting on oil. And he did such a good job of it and he became so knowledgeable that he ended up getting work with the oil companies and becoming a multi-millionaire, as you do when you work in oil. This is all in like 1870s, 1880s. And so once he'd made his millions, he was like, you know what, I want to give back. So he purchased this incredibly huge block of land. I'll put a map on screen, but like the other day I walked from this entrance to another entrance on the same road, and that is a one hour walk one way. When he donated the land, he was very clear about what he wanted it to be used for. I'm not gonna remember the quote exactly, so I'll put it on screen. <laughs> but I particularly like the last bit where he's like, the plain people. And so that was great, this massive park named after him, everyone liked him. And then in like 1902, he shot his wife in the face. Don't do that. And she survived being shot in the face, which is weird enough. I found some conflicting reports here. One said that they stayed together until he died. The other was like, she immediately divorced him for shooting her in the face. I just remembered my phone has a light, so let's see what that looks like. I do know it went to court because you can't shoot people in the face. That's illegal. And in court, it was revealed that despite the fact that he was a famous teetotaler who never drank, he was actually a secret alcoholic and just a constant drunk. So he went to prison for two years because being a rich white guy who shoots his wife in the face is apparently not a huge crime. And after prison, he became a massive advocate for prison reform, which, you know, I think everyone who spends any time in American prisons quickly becomes. In 1905, he tried to donate $1.5 million, which in 1905 was an incredible sum of money, to LA to build the Griff Observatory in the Greek theatre, and they were like, no, no, we're good, thank you, we don't really want to put more stuff up with your name on it, you just famously shot your wife and went to prison for it. And then when he died a few years later, he just left them the money, and they were like, well, he's dead now, so I guess it's fine. And then as if the rest of his bio wasn't enough, the last sentence is just like, despite spending his whole life calling himself Colonel Griffith J. Griffith, there is no record he ever held that rank in any army. Just a great capper to the Wikipedia article about a pretty weird guy. So ever since I learned about Griffith J. Griffith, I've been kind of obsessed with him. And because he was largely based where I live, you know, Griffith Park is within walking distance of my house. All the stuff around him is also within walking distance. So last Friday, I walked to his grave. I discovered he's buried literally at the end of my street. So I walked down to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery and found his grave. And it was very cool. While trying to find his grave, I just glanced to the left and Mel Blanc's grave was there. And Mel Blanc's tombstone is very famous. I have seen photos of it since I was a teenager. So just to glance to the left and for it to be there kind of blew my mind. I also found this, which was very morbid and cool. And then on Sunday, I walked to the other entrance of Griffith Park, which is a full hour away, and it is stinking hot right now, just to see his statue. It was very cool. And that is the story of Griffith J. Griffith. Griffith Jenkins Griffith. I always ask everyone what they think the J stands for, and so far, everyone but one person has guessed Griffith. <laughs> anyway, that's all from me. I will see you next time.